Are you looking for an IT job in the government? Maybe you want to know what the government is looking for when it comes to IT skills. I dug through over 100 job announcements on usajobs.gov focused on IT specialists. I then pulled out some of the same skills and keywords that kept coming up time and time again. Now this is for the 2210 job series, but even if you're in the 0300 or the 0500 series and you're interested in IT skills, this could apply to you as well. Okay, so when you go to usajobs.gov and you search for IT specialist, you will find that there are different categories. And the main ones are system administration, information security, network, application software, help desk, and system analysis. So you want to make sure that you have your focus dialed in when you're looking to become an IT specialist because the qualifications could change depending on what job announcement you're clicking on. But as I searched and read through all of them, these are the top five skills that remain consistent. First is the installation, testing, operation, and troubleshooting of hardware and software. Second was system management and maintenance. Third was application and computer analysis. Fourth was evaluate system performance data. And number five was managing cybersecurity software. For certifications, many of these job announcements were looking for CompTIA A+, and Network+. And for programming languages, they were largely looking for Python and JavaScript. These skills could have been gained in your current job or your previous job, but let's say you don't work, you're unemployed right now. The best thing that you can do if you're unemployed is to practice, get proficient in these type of skills, and then volunteer. You can volunteer with your local city government. You can volunteer at churches or at schools. And that volunteer experience where you're actually applying the knowledge that you have gained, that counts. That can qualify you for a GS grade. In a lot of cases, it can qualify you for a higher GS grade. Now listen, what's really important here is when you're showcasing your experience, you have to tell them a story. You have to use a format so such as CAR, which is context, action, and result. And that's how you're gonna demonstrate the depth of your experience. So let's look at the number one skill. This is how I would often find it on a resume. This is how I would read it. It would say, installed and tested software to ensure organizational compliance. That looks pretty good, right? Wrong, that looks horrible, that's not good. That's gonna look like everyone else's resume. Instead, you wanna have something like this. Installed and tested security software on 90 systems monthly to increase the annual organizational compliance rate from 70% to 100%. That is so much better. That's gonna send a direct strong signal to HR that you're not only qualified, you are highly qualified for this position. Okay, so the IT and computer science field in the government right now, it's on the urgent hire list. That means oftentimes you can get incentives. There could be relocation expenses paid. The job announcement could use direct hire authority and that way you're not competing with veterans. You're not having to worry about a veteran bumping you off the list if you are a non-veteran. There's also 12 month roster positions where you apply one time and you're considered a dozen times. Then we have to mention SSR, which is the special salary rate. And currently the veteran affairs, they've implemented this in July. Meaning that everyone that works in IT, if you're a 2210 or similar job series, if your main focus is IT or computer science, you're getting a pay bump about 15 to 20% pay bump. Maybe you're thinking about private sector instead of government. So let's look at some of the major differences between the two. Private sector, the pay is gonna be better. There's no denying that. Technology is probably even better. And the ability to pivot and make changes in your organization is gonna be greater. You're gonna have more flexibility in that regard. In the government, the workload could be less. You'll have the stability and work-life balance. And also, most importantly to me, you will be working towards a federal pension that's guaranteed for the rest of your life. And you're fully vested in that pension after just five years. So what about pay? What kind of pay could you be expecting as an IT specialist in the government? Well, an IT specialist usually goes from GS5 all the way up to GS15. So that's between $42,000 and $183,000 a year. And where exactly you would fall on this scale would depend on two things. First is your experience, and second would be your location. What the data has shown recently is that younger people, they're not attracted to the government. They're more attracted to chase higher dollars and more bigger and better opportunities in the private sector. 
And then what happens is when an individual reaches their 30s or 40s, they start to have a family, they place a premium on the benefits that a government career can offer you. If you are still considering a career or a job in the federal government, you might be wondering more about the pay. Some agencies pay really good and other agencies, it's a little bit on the lower side. If you wanna know what agencies are the best when it comes to pay and which ones are the worst, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.